it comes down to two things now, right? It comes down to me not knowing what a 100% shot is, or just me not being able to hit the clubs properly. That's exactly the PGA average. Yeah, okay. I can do that. 234. 234. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode. Today, you're getting my club distances. It's currently February, it's cold. However, I'm gonna be showing you my driver all the way down to my lob wedge. I'm gonna be showing you some of the areas within my bag that are causing me problems, and I'm gonna do all of this using the Garmin R10, which shows the club path, spin rate, carry distances, and all the things that are relevant to know exactly where I need to improve on in 2024. Hope you guys are good. Let's get into it. All right guys, stock yardages for me. 58 degree, let's see how this goes. Three shots on each one. A bit high, 90. Okay. Same. Well, that sounds consistently nice. Well, some people are sand wedge, but for me it's a 54. Okay, that's quite consistent, 98 and 99. Next is my gap wedge. This should be going about 110. It's about 115. I hit that really good. Okay. So 110 it is. All right. Good. Is. Pitching wedge should be about 125. I hit that, I hit that well. Hundred and thirty five yards and I didn't smash that either, so that's a problem. Or well, yeah, twenty five yard gap is not good. Alright, nine nine. Um this should be going about one forty. One forty carry, let's see. Oh god, that's long as well, isn't it? Are we liking it or are we not liking We're it? I'm not liking it. If the you can get greedy about distance as much as you want, but if you've got 20 or 30 yard gaps between your clubs, then it's just crap. Either I'm hitting it badly, or I refuse to accept that my 9-9 goes 163 yards carry. I refuse that. It's too far, you think? It's just too far. Oh no, it's long as well, isn't it? That's 160. <laughs> Eight iron next. Yeah, I'm worried, guys. <laughs> I am, I'm not gonna lie. The things that should be getting me excited aren't. And that's just a big gap between clubs. It's a bit left, but it should be about 165. Carry distance 165 yards. Yep. That's an 8 iron? 8 iron, yeah. Yep. That's 170. Jesus. It's a good shot. Yeah, the long's great if I have to hit it long, but it's not good because then I've got <laughs> Nobody needs to hit an 8 iron for one. So it comes down to two things now, right? It comes down to me not knowing what a 100% shot is, or just me not being able to hit the clubs properly because I can't manage the distance. I think that's what it comes down to. It's not the clubs doing the distance, it's me managing the distance, and I can't do that. And that's effectively like as amateur as you can get. If you can't manage the distances of clubs, then when you get on the course, what are you doing? I mean, I didn't hit it hard. I didn't hit it hard. That's about right. So maybe the thing is, I just shouldn't hit my clubs 100%. <laughs> yeah. Like Tiger said, seven iron. This should be going about, yeah, about 170. That should be 165. Okay, you know what? I'm not mad about that. I quite 165? like that. 158. Great. Low flight. 172. That's okay. A, that's exactly the PGA average. Yeah, okay. I can do that. Six iron? It's, yeah. So six your iron. favorite club in the bag. It is my favorite club in the bag because I don't really like hitting long irons, but for some reason this one goes nicely. This should be going about 185. Yeah, I teased it. That's gone. 
Yes. 185? 185 carry, yeah. It went 185 carry, 205 total. That's literally... But it sounded like your teeth did a bit. Maybe I'm wrong. No, it was okay. Ow. No. Ow. I'm good. I'm good with that. Don't want to hit anymore. My four hybrid. That should be a 200 yard carry. It's a good shot. 201. Yep. Good. I think, you know what? I'm happy with that. So yeah, I'm hitting, I'm hitting the heaven wood, AKA the seven wood. I haven't actually put it in the thing. I haven't added it to my clubs. That's okay. I'll put it under hybrid. This should be going again to 210, 220. Oof, I hit that. 215. It's about a 210 club. I'll take Harry. Three wood. My least favorite club in the bag completely. I just don't like it. I don't know why. Oh. Oh God, I hit that. 234. 234. I find it, one of the funny things, when I get to the, that end of the clubs, I don't mind it a bit distance. I just the bottom part, which I hate, the, the irons. Like the lower ones? Yeah, they, they should be a lot closer. And I just think I find it more difficult to control an 80% shot or 70% iron shot or wedge shot than controlling that. Driver, driver in hand, eh? Yeah. I reckon I'm going to carry this about 250. That's gone. 235 yards carry. Okay. That I can do. I was saying 240 carry. 20 it. yards longer. Well, guys, there you have it. Those are my golf club distances. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you can probably understand as well that as an amateur golfer, one of the challenges we face, not just by hitting the ball straight, but trying to get the gaps within our golf bag to stay consistent. And that's my problem. Having too many large gaps in certain areas are probably gonna cause me a lot of trouble on the golf course. So if you can relate to that, do get in the comments and do share some tips as well. If you know ways of where I can clip and shorten those distances in my golf bag, that'd be fantastic. As always, if you like the video as well, do like and um, do subscribe if you wanna see more of this and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.